Cyclone Kiara has rapidly intensified in the early hours of this morning and is now a Category 5 storm with winds of 165 miles per hour and a pressure of 918 millibars, according to our latest satellite estimates. That's as of 7 a.m. Gulf Standard Time this October 27th. CDPS scale isn't operating at this point because no landfall is expected in the next seven days, so we can't run those numbers. At the moment it's at 17.2 north, 68 degrees east, um, and obviously a Category 5 on the Sapphire Simpson scale. And this is the current distances, uh, 341 miles southwest of Mumbai and moving away, 394 from Rajkot, 534 from Karachi, 704 from Dukiam on the coast of Oman, and 769 from the capital Muscat. Here is the storm's current position and usually this would light up with warnings but none are in effect at this point because the storm is moving away from land, from India, will gradually near the Arabian Peninsula but whether it gets there is something that is up for discussion right now. This is what the GFS forecast is showing in terms of the next uh, five, next seven days of rainfall. Massive amounts of rainfall underneath the storm itself which will persist for several days. You can see that massive pink line moving up towards the northeast. Very strong um, and rainfall amounts into the several hundreds of millimeters range. Thankfully all of that staying out at sea as you can see there but any changes in the forecast could make that different. It is an extremely uh, uncertain situation because some models take it towards the southwest on that turn rather than northeast. So that's something that we're watching out for very closely. Sea surface temperatures fairly warm, 28 or 29 degrees Celsius all along the track there and if it moves southwest it will cool down a little bit. Here's another look at that wind field. So if you see any greens along the coast there, that's tropical storm conditions. You probably won't on this forecast, but you can see the general trend of where the storm's going to end up going. Again, this is the GFS model. Other models uh, saying differently. It is very um, difficult to establish whether it will actually turn left, as it were, or turn right before reaching the Arabian Peninsula. So we have this very strange situation of places either side of the eastern tip of the Arabian Peninsula having the highest chances of tropical storm force winds, as we can see. 15%, very low chances because of the uncertainty. 15% at Keti Bandar in, um, in Pakistan, 10 in Burj over the border in India, 10 at Salalah in Oman, 5 at Karachi, and 5 further towards the west in Yemen. This is what the models are saying, they're hopelessly far behind at this point. Uh, category 5 now on the latest satellite estimates um, and who knows more intensification possible in the next few hours because wind shear is near nil, uh, 0 to 5 knots, sea surface temperature is very warm, relative humidity not looking quite so hot because there is a lot of dry air lingering to the storms west and northwest. Um, but you can see there again the trend in those models, JTWC forecast just about erring on the southwest turn, but a massive cone. This is what the satellite imagery looks like. So there's the storm's progress in the last few hours, um, looking very impressive in those late frames on this satellite imagery. Um, and it's really starting to come out in the last few hours in particular. This is a 24 hour loop, so only the very end of the loop is showing the storm being very impressive as it is. An eye temperature around 18 degrees Celsius. Not so long ago, there was a full ring of minus 80 degrees Celsius cloud tops. That signifies a very strong storm. We'll keep on top of this over the next few days. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.